China has been going intensely crazy about something on its Gobi desert, the nuclear power. What the Chinese are building in this desert will absolutely keep you startling. A desert that posed a major challenge in time passed to the Chinese owing to its harsh weather conditions that created sandstorms which swept across major Chinese cities, destroyed farmlands, buried villages and property that forced many citizens to relocate to safer villages abandoning their homes. This sand dumps which once posed major threats to the Chinese people has in recent times been in plan plan for the Chinese to use it for the purpose of producing nuclear power project which could completely change China's future and our world at large. China's government in a most recent announcement said it will launch its first thorium nuclear reactor which will play a significant role in the country's pursuit in technological advancement. The thorium project is certainly a potential game changer in the country's nuclear energy. Traditional nuclear plants use uranium, but thorium is safer, reduces wastes, and has better fuel efficiency, well suited for used in arid and long-legged areas just like the Gobi Desert. Besides these beneficial attributes, here is that one thing that makes this dream a reality for China. In today's world market, China remains the highest supplier of thorium, tapping this resource and becoming the first country that has commercialized this energy form that can power its economy for the next 20,000 years. Such a great and tremendous exploits by China's economy. This means China just discovered and exploited the technology that will guarantee its country's energy supply for an unlimited time on Earth, or better put, for as long as the few more years we might have to be here on planet Earth. They have not so much heard of thorium, Many may ask what it is and even raise questions as to what this new tech energy means for China and the rest of RIT world. Is it dangerous or what and how beneficial it is to us? It may be a wealth of knowledge for you to know China isn't the first country to experiment on thorium. In actuality, the United States stood as the first country that first built a molten salt reactor in the early 60s and brought forth the feasibility of using thorium. She, however, failed to make significant progress in this light due to lack of its government's support. Not that the U.S. deliberately chose not to support this tech, but it was at the same time plagued by the U.S.-Soviet Union space race, which demanded lots of resources and federal resources we channeled to NASA instead. Would you be surprised to learn India holds the largest thorium plant in the world and has been trying to build a nuclear power plant since the 1980s? By India has faced backdrops following its lack of expertise and inadequate funding by the government needed to advance this project. Visible to recognize where China's giving no drawback in seizing this opportunity and giving other countries its supremacy over its use of thorium. China is simply a one-party state, and when it comes to investing and building infrastructure projects, once the party decides to move forward, Every other aspect that needs to be cleared from the desk and necessary actions taken simply go unperturbed just to see the desired outcome and projects achieved. Going in depth on analyzing with concrete examples is what happened in 2018 in India that triggered China's move. In this year, India decided to follow in China's footsteps and build its first high-speed rail project. But recent reports prove that in five years of construction of this rail, the project is now over budget and not expected to be completed until 2028. This will make it 10 years after the construction began. Quite a time right into one project. In likening this project to when China equally committed to building its high-speed rail, it took China well over three years to build it and the large part of its success lies largely on simple, clear direction from its government. This is not to criticize or make any other country bad when it comes to tech and developmental advancements, but one may clearly say China's government, as opposed to that of other countries, is noted for its ability to carry on with projects with a lot of efficiency and engineering, which speaks of great strengths rather than weaknesses. Their ability to get projects done is highly recommendable. China building a molten salt reactor that converts store into energy is a completely complicated process. This reactor was expected to take six years to complete but Chinese scientists and engineers unprecedentedly got the job done in just three years. A project which went much more smoothly than was anticipated. This was followed by the sending of environmental experts, who further spent more than two years verifying and testing the reactor, 
whose job was to ensure safety standards. This thorough analysis and works done by the team led to the issue of an official statement on June 7th of its efficiency and usage by its nuclear division, which certifies its authenticity by at least 10 years as its first thorium reactor. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors which require water, China's thorium reactor outstands in its no use of water for cooling, making the Gobi Desert area well suited for its construction. This technology created by China gives less worries to many who may be doubting China's nuclear intentions. This is because unlike uranium, thorium can't be used to produce nuclear weapons, which falls in China's plan to become carbon-free by 2060. It is worth noting that China is already the world leader in renewable energy, and its government is looking forward to combining this new molten salt reactor with its existing wind and solar plants in order to provide steady electricity supply for its large population for the future it foresees. In addition to this new nuclear reactor is the, the fact that it can convert existing nuclear wastes into clean carbon energy. This is helpful in minimizing devastating effects in our environment. Safe to say, we are just experiencing another era where China is quietly and quickly becoming the world's leader in technological advancements after witnessing how it rapidly brought about its 5G innovative invention in recent years. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel as a means of your support to us.